Hi, I'm at Palmer Park among the rock formations out here. We were hiking around for the afternoon and thought I'd just stop and take some time to introduce the backpacking trip up to the Holy Cross Wilderness to Lyle Lake. This is my fifth video in my backpacking video series. We spent three days and two nights up there and we enjoyed some uh, fairly good weather and uh, beautiful scenery. But the fishing was terrible. <laughs> we caught and released only seven fish for the whole trip wasn't so good but it was a great trip after all I think that's uh, the last trip we had for uh, for 2012 so that wraps up our season then with the Lyle Lake trip but uh, still a spectacular trip we had a good time there anyway so enjoy my video up in the Holy Cross Wilderness Colorado Walk the outskirts of this town Been terrorized by what I found I saw a standing virgin bright But holy die and nice is die September 9th, Sunday We're going on a backpacking trip a lot of lake in the Holy Cross wilderness. We just crossed over Wilkerson Pass and here's a view of South Park. Big, wide, vast, open area. 8,000 feet high in the air. We're coming across a dam at uh, Turquoise Lake. Man, it's a nice view out there. We're on top of Agarbin Pass. Again. <laughs> it's Ivanhoe Lake down there. Right on. Beautiful view. <laughs> 3.16 in the afternoon. We're still not at the trailhead. Got about another mile and a half to go. We'll be there. I've walked the outskirts of this town Been terrorized by what I found I saw a standing virgin bride Tore the heart out of his sight and laid it there where she cried. Oh, 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 what poisons me is what poisons you. Into these animals we well, we're at the trailhead for Lyle Lake. Yep, we're on our way. We already did the trail register and put our slip in the box there, so we'll take some video along the way. And we come upon the wilderness boundary sign, Holy Cross Wilderness. We're in the White River National Forest. High Mountain, Colorado. 
at him. <sighs> Last leg of this hike is not too steep, but sure made me tired. We're approaching the lake. Right on. Last time we were here, we continued on the right hand side of the lake through the boulder field and up over the pass right there. Teddy, back. Right on. Try to find a camp out here or somewhere. But I'm gonna offload this pack, take a rest. We got about an hour left of daylight. I'll be setting camp up when the sun's gone. Come on, dogs. Well, 7.15, I have the, my camp all set up here. Yeah, we got up here late, but I got to, I got to set up camp just about right away. I had a hard time trying to find where to put my tent. Right here is the best spot right there that I could find, and I believe the sun's gonna come up right up this direction over that big mountain across from us, and. Hit me directly in the morning, probably around 8.30 or 9 o'clock. I don't know, but this is our tent. Our little camp spot right here. Come on, get in here, lay down. Come on. Freeze-dried food, all I do is add boiled water to it. This is uh, spaghetti with meat sauce, and it comes out really good. Just pour water in there, and it seasons up. I got uh, rice in this bag right here, instant rice, and I have mashed potatoes in this bag right here. Mashed potatoes, rice, spaghetti and meat sauce. So, yum yum, I'm gonna scarf down. The dog's just finished scarfing down. Got them off bed. I need you right here. Walk the outskirts of this town Been terrorized by what I found I saw a standing virgin bride But holy dying ice is died She tore the heart out of his sight And laid it there and there she cried she said, hello, I'm a monster too. The more poisons me is the poison. We've been up for a while already right now. It's eight minutes after eight. Sun's coming up out of the east there. Our camp, our tent's right behind those trees right there. We just finished breakfast just a little bit ago. I'm just kicking back in the sun right now. <laughs> Try to warm up a little bit. It's 46 degrees out here right now. The sun's already poked over the ridge, but there's a <clears throat> light layer of clouds. So that's kind of blocking the heat away a little bit. So it's comfortable. It's not bad. Bella's trying to get into her treats. Jay, don't you chew through that thing. Give you a quick shot of my camp. Ah.
That's where we call home for three days. They did something here last night. What's in there, Bella? What's in there? Oh, gosh, yep. Uh -huh. Big mouse. Big mouse. <laughs> Come on, Teddy. Teddy, stop. No, leave them alone. See that he found that. Get, move. Get back. Get back. He found the hole. That's the hole right there. They want it covered up, so leave it alone. Come on. Okay, 10.30 in the morning. Finally getting the head off. Me and the dogs were toasting over there by the rock in the sun. We're to fish the the um, western part of the edge, western shoreline here, and make our make our way towards the north side of the lake. Don't know if the trail is visible in video, but there is a uh, trail that goes alongside the mountain across from us. It goes up alongside the mountain. To the top of the ridge there it takes you to Mormon Lake as I mentioned before I've did the uh, trip there in 2009 in July there was lots of snow there man and nothing on the first cast we'll work our way around to the north side of the lake on this shoreline here, so I'm gonna take video as we go. Cotton released one brook trout so far. They're out here. Fishing's definitely slow. I had three three trout chase my lure in. I'm watching these brook trout just chase my lure. That's all they're doing. Big rounded mountain out there is called Lyle Mountain. We're camped on that on the other side of that little ridge that's facing in front of us there. It's just to the right of the lake. It's 12 noon. We just had a little snack break. <clears throat> We're kicking back. Just resting a little bit. Enjoying the scenery. Fishing's real slow, totally slow. We caught release only three. That's okay though. Beautiful dogs. You guys stay over here. Whew. Back at camp and it's uh, two o'clock. We're gonna take a, a late lunch here. Man, I just get my jacket off and stuff. It was hot. It's hot. Hot up here at the camp, but down down by the lake. It is definitely cool. And Bella's gonna take back, kick back, and take a rest. We're gonna probably take a little siesta. Tell her, come on, get back over here, boy. Come on. Well, I take my medicine on my knee twice a day. the devil from my door and make 
makes me rich and it makes me poor I'm a beggar in the morning I'm a king at night My belt is loose and my trigger is tied They come without warning At the speed of a light Make it shine so pretty Make it shine so pretty Five thirty-eight on Monday, the tenth, September, twenty twelve. Teddy, come here. Get over here right now. Gosh, man, he's always getting in trouble. But anyways, I'm going on a water run right now to go fill up my water bucket. And we didn't get the fish the last fourth of the lake from the rock from the rock slide all the way up to the outlet of the lake. We didn't fish that this afternoon. So we're going to go back and fish that section. Look at that, my shadow. <laughs> Settle. Go forth, my bellaboo. That's how the Rocky Mountain Trail Dog catches fish. Just a little brookie like they were at uh, Savage Lake. Tell her that was my finger. Dog got my finger. That's why I don't let Teller get the fish because he'll put holes in them. It's a good thing he didn't put a hole in me. <laughs> That's fish number six and it's what time? Six o'clock. I just hooked up number seven of these little brookies. They fight hard for little brookies. I gotta grab Teller. Number seven. Thank you, Bella. Good girl. No, 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 don't, don't. Sh Good girl. Ah. I managed only to catch seven, catch or release seven fish today. I just wanted to get video of the, the lake real calm like this. Just gonna pan around. I'm down here filling up my water bucket. I'm done fishing for the for the day. We're camped right up on that ridge over by those trees. I think 
thing and uh, got the bear bag down. Don't know if I'm going to do breakfast today or not. not. Don't feel too hungry. So we're going to get our day ready. <coughs> Go to have some breakfast bars I guess. I'm not going to make a full breakfast today. Usually we have uh, freeze dried uh, scramble eggs and bacon, bell peppers and uh, red peppers in it. Tell her, come on, get back over here, come on. Well, I decided to eat breakfast, so I did make up my freeze-dried breakfast. <clears throat> Scramble eggs, red and green bell, um, bell pepper with ham. <laughs> Mountain House makes some good stuff. And dogs, uh, they had some breakfast too. Tuesday morning, boy, fishing is pitiful. We didn't catch anything yet at all. And the lake is just dead on top of the water. Flat, calm, no bug activity, no fish activity. Well, I've done fish for like an hour and a half and <laughs> didn't catch a thing. So, didn't even see anything either. The weather's not, uh, it's not so bad. If I was catching fish, I'd be happy to stay here. But without doing the fish catching thing, it's kind of boring, so. I'm going to pack it up, head back to the camp. Our camp is off over there in the trees. We're going to head home. Now it's 1 o'clock, and I'm trying to pack up so we can leave. But of course, every time I always try to pack up, it starts to rain. It's not really raining right now. It's actually sprinkling, but it's enough where we have to be inside here so none of my gear would get wet. But, yeah, we're going to pack up in here and uh, wait for this little light sprinkle to go away. Hopefully it does. Yay! My trip here has been pretty good. Except for the fishing. The fishing kind of sucked real slow. Um, catch and release seven fish on Monday. Uh, Sunday we didn't do no fishing at all because we got up here late. Today I tried, but nothing. Nothing at all. Yeah. Well... Now it's really coming down. <laughs> this sucks. Look, like I'm halfway packed up. We're gonna have to wait till the storm breaks so we can uh, get make our so we can make our way out of here. Bye. coming down good. <laughs> I'm glad that we're in the tent and the tent's still set up. It's always, it's always the last thing. It's always the last thing to get packed up. This isn't the first time that uh, 
It ain't the first time that uh, cover my hair because I know it's all really messed up. It ain't the first time we had to pack out where it's raining. Out in the San Sangreta Crystal Mountains, me and Bella, let's see, it's probably about 2008, we hiked up to Horn Lake. And we spent, uh, I think it was three days up there. The third day it was raining just like this, but only at uh, the time it was about 5, 6 o'clock and it was raining like this. And same situation. We're all, uh, you're inside the tent and I'm packing everything up. And I get the tent, uh, the last thing ready to go, the rain breaks. So I go outside and I, uh, I start packing the tent up. And next thing you know, the rain came right back, man. I had the rain fly out still. So we crawled under the rain fly and laid on the ground with the rain fly covering us for the next 45 minutes to an hour, I think it was. And after that, the storm broke again, man. I took that rain fly, shoved it in my pack, and we got the heck out of there. We're hiking in the dark, man. We got to the trailhead like about 9 o'clock at night. That's crazy. But we're going to kick back here and then uh, wait for this storm to break. And when it breaks, then I'll pack the rest of the stuff up and... Uh, and we'll get on back to the trailhead to the truck. Rainstorm came through. It's kind of sunny. It's still overcast out over here and everywhere, but uh, yeah, we're all packed up, ready to go, man. Our trip is done here at Bile Lake and the Holy Cross Wilderness. Ready to hit the trail? That was our camp spot right there. That little area. It was nice. Beautiful Lyle Lake. Boy, I tell you what, Lyle Lake, if they tore the heart out the fish were hitting for us, man, we'd be staying one more one more night so we could fish tomorrow. But since we had dead fishing today, it's no sense of being here. I get kind of bored. I love the scenery. I like the little hiking around I do and stuff, you know, a little snooping around looking and stuff come on dogs teddy let's go but my main thing is come up and catch release fish and we weren't getting into any of that type of action nevertheless we still had a beautiful time here well i could tell Wind's picking up, temperature's getting colder. Bella's a little anxious, so I can tell something's coming up. We got another storm coming in or something. There's one already out that way. We were camped up on that hill right there in the top. But there is something coming. Probably can't see it in the video, but man, you can feel it. So, that ends our Lyle. Lyle Lake trip in the Holy Cross Wilderness. It turned out to be pretty good. We still enjoyed it, even though we didn't catch fish. Still another backpacking experience. Another one under Bella Boo's belt. She's been on so many of them.
starting to sprinkle on us right now. It feels good actually. Thirty minutes down the trail, and we're hiking in the rain. Slow down, dogs. Oh, I want an angel to wipe my tears. No more dreams, my hopes, and desires. Holy Cross Wilderness. Right here, but, we won't of course. Thank you, Lyle Lake. It's Grant. I know we didn't catch fish. Only seven of them. It's all right. I'm a beggar in the morning. This is the last leg of our hike. And Bella taking the last steps of our Holy Cross and Wilderness trip to Lyle Lake. wrapped up another one. How many is that? 100? <laughs> Tell them who you are. <laughs>